And, uh, and our next question here is asking about LDN. Um, I heard that low dose, as, as well as low dose gabapentin um, for helping with better sleep. Have you heard anything about that, Dr. Rawls? Um, well, there are two different things, of course. Mm -hmm. um, low dose naltrexone is an opioid blocker and gabapentin is a drug that mimics GABA in the brain. Um, so low-dose naltrexone was a drug developed uh, back in the 70s, I believe, for to help um, opioid um, uh, heroin addicts get off heroin. So it blocks opioid receptors in the body. So if you're taking heroin or a narcotic, you just don't feel any of the effects. Um, it didn't work out very well because it didn't have any effects for controlling pain or other kinds of things. So it just be, people just wouldn't take it. Um, but somebody along the way found that if you use 10% of the dose, then it had this interesting effect of very briefly blocking opioid receptors and the body responded by making lots of endorphins. And so We've been using that for some years. It has to be compounded. So they have to take the drug and drop the dose down to uh, 1.5 to 4.5 milligrams, and which is a fraction, 10, about 10% of the normal prescribed dose that you would use for uh, narcotic addiction. Um, and so it really doesn't have that much in the way of side effects in most people. And a lot of people do get a boost of endorphins. So it can be very valuable. I used it in my practice. I found that it was about 50, 50, honestly, about 50% of people noticed a significant difference. About 50% of people got nothing from it. And at either end of the spectrum, I had some people with terrible side effects and other people that it just was a wonder drug. Um, so I think it's worth trying. Um, the safety uh, profile with it is very high. It is not habituating. It does not have any opioid effects whatsoever. And it will not really, it directly in itself help with pain. You cannot be on any kind of narcotic and use it. So it, uh, you have to be off of all narcotics to use it. Um, and it can be it can be valuable for decreasing pain. Some people actually do sleep better on it, um, so it is worth trying. Um, though CBD does some of those things, CBD boosts endorphins also, and you can use them together because they work completely differently. It's fine to use CBD and low dose naltrexone together. Gabapentin is another drug that affects GABA receptors. And it does cross over into the brain a bit, but it's more affecting the peripheral nervous system. So you have different types of GABA receptors all through your nervous system in your brain and in your peripheral nervous system. So gabapentin, it was more designed for paresthesias and irritated nerves peripherally but some people find that they do get a central GABA effect from it. It does help with sleep a little bit. Um, they will tell you, or at least they told uh, that, you know, the, the thing with the drug is they said it's not directly metabolized by the liver and, and it's not crossing into the brain. So it's not habituating at all. And it turned out that that was completely false. Um, it's not as habituating as a benzodiazepine, but it is habituating. So the longer you take it, the more of it you'll need. And sometimes you do have withdrawal symptoms getting off of it when you decide you want to get off of it. So it can be a drug that is valuable. Um, it can work something like a sleeping pill. It's not quite as addictive as a sleeping pill, but it's still habituating. You're, you're, you're still going to pay some price with it. Problem with these things though, is that once you get habituated to it, you need more and more of a dose and eventually you get to a dose that it just doesn't work anymore. And then you have to go to a stronger drug to sleep. And that's the issue with the drugs.